Okay, I guess there's a lot of people in a lot of workplaces who feel that they have to dress a certain way for work and a collar or something very structured is the central pillar of that, right? I think I think absolutely, and I have to say, I do well, love, there you go. I love a collar. Yeah, yeah, I love a collar. But I think there's so many options this season, and the perfect one, I think, is the silk sweatshirt. Mm, yeah. You know, because yeah. it's it's silk, so therefore it kind of looks a bit smarter, but in that kind of relaxed sweat shape, um, absolutely perfect. It's kind of like going back to that American, what they call sports, sports wear, wear yeah. which is a, it's a technical term that they use that's slightly different from what we think, but there's so many sports influences on the yeah, catwalk, yeah. like the baseball jackets and the, oh, yeah. the kind of silk track pants, which I'm not suggesting as a form of workwear, but it just means <laughs> it's eased everything up. I think it guess. has, definitely. And I, oh, okay, so, and, and I guess if that, if you feel that that's maybe a bit too relaxed, um, then to still wear the, the, the shirt with the collar, but, but go for something that's cropped, maybe. Yeah, you know, yeah. I mean, it, looks, yeah. it suddenly looks uh, bang on season. It, it just works and looks new. For someone who's petite, I, I, I think the worst thing that they can do is a really, like a skirt below the knee or too high above the knee. Actually, it's those extreme lengths, which are probably yeah, the danger I, area, I aren't think, they? Yeah, well, you don't want to look swamped and also you don't no. want to look too cut up. Do no, you? you don't want to look like a baby doll. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> so, on the knee? Either, I think anywhere on the knee to mid thigh, like that black raffia skirt looks to me about perfect. Yeah. Because it probably hits about here, yeah. Though, Jane. Yeah, it does, exactly there. And then you can wear a little heel boot maybe. Or yeah, absolutely. I think it would work well. Which I think looks really chic. It looks really yeah. sharp and kind of urban and not yeah. too cutesy. I think so. And I also think it's quite important if you are quite petite to keep it quite simple. Yeah. I think if you've got too many prints fighting against each other, then it can look a bit messy. Absolutely. Yeah. Events, because the British social calendar is full of day to evening events that require some dressing they, well, up. Well, they do, they do, but what really annoys me is when people suddenly dress for an event in a way that's completely different to how they would yeah, normally yeah. dress. You know, it, they turn up at a wedding wearing some kind of fascinator or, or something that, you know, just does not look like them. And, and so that's actually something we take really seriously. Okay. Is, is how do you dress for an event but make it cool, you know? Okay. So, um, I don't think you have to wear a dress either. Oh, I think you could wear. I think you could wear um, two printed separates with heels, with a bit of jewellery. I think it looks really cool. I think it's it's more comfortable. It's yeah. easy. Because um, just because actually what you're wearing right now feels like a real day to evening look because it's got that bit of texture in the print. Yeah, and it looks like a statement, but it's not a kind of formal statement. No, and it's relaxed and it's easy. Yeah, absolutely. So I think that's that, that's good. Um, but you know, if you if you do what if you want to wear a dress, um, and I know loads of people do. Yeah. Um, I think I think print is always is always good. Um, there's there's so many wonderful prints coming through. All these kind of um, mixed mixed sort of scales of prints look great. Um, yeah. I think the new slightly longer length works really well um, for occasion dressing. And the funny thing is, with that print thing, I think that fashion has given us so many options that almost anything goes. You just have to be brave and oh go God, for yeah. it, right? Yes, I think so. I, it's almost impossible to make a mistake. Yes. Yeah. Don't you think? Yeah. yeah. And okay. have fun with it, but yeah. enjoy wearing it as if, uh, instead of sort of feeling all trussed up. Yeah, know, yeah, yeah. It Absolutely. Feels glamorous. And yeah. Jane, one of the hottest silhouettes on the catwalk is that new kind of rounded, kind of cocoon yes. shape thing, which I have to say, it looked a bit scary, but I am really embracing it because I love how comfortable it feels. And because you're tall, it looks amazing. I, I, I accept that. And also a lot of the designers put that with flat shoes, which is a really challenging proposition. But how do you think it's best to adapt it if you're I, small, if you're under 5'5"? Five, five? I think you can... Uh, personally, man, I'm actually 5'5 five, five myself, I'm Ooh. quite small. Um, I love cocooning, but I think it's really important that you put it with something like a slightly cropped trouser with okay. a heel. I think if you if you wear the kind of cocoon look with, with sort of oversized trousers as well, I think you are just going to be completely swamped. You need to kind of crop it a little, make it look a little bit cuter, but also lots of the cocoon shapes are, are, are 
they're oversized and they're sort of rounded, but they're also a little bit cropped, and I think, I think that's easier. So in a way, the rule could be that you've got to show a bit of skin, maybe, or just a bit of limb? Even yeah, I, limb think a bit of, I think a bit of limb, okay. yeah, yeah, maybe whether it's an arm, like a sort of a little uh, cropped yeah. sleeve or, or, or a sort of cropped length here, and I think it, I think it then works really well. It's, it's a great trend, though. Because, guys, that then indicates that you do have a, a, a lovely kind of human scale body underneath yes. and that you're not... <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the boyfriend jean, that's a bit of a conundrum for lots of people. Mm -hmm. Trying to figure out what shoe to wear with it. I happen to think boyfriend jean with a really feminine shoe is just fabulous. So do I, I know, but people do find it hard. Well, we've had a question about whether somebody has been asking, is that too try hard if you wear it with a sandal? But I was quite surprised by that because the boyfriend jean is, okay, but it's very name and nature. It's a kind of androgynous thing, so it needs to be feminised a bit, It don't does, and it's very slouchy, and you kind of wear it with your hands in your pockets. I think without the heel, it look, it's, it's just too casual. Yeah. I don't think you can do it. But you can, you can wear, you can wear it like a, a chunkier heel or a yeah. boot. Yeah. You, know, you can wear yeah. an ankle boot or easily, a biker boot I, I think. Or something like yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, something that's kind of quite, I think it needs to be quite narrow on the foot. So that it emphasises that, you know, you have got ankles. Yeah, and that there's that kind of feminine, yeah. that feminine mashup, yeah. masculine yeah. feminine. Yeah, thing. but what I think, and what I, I love is a boyfriend jean, um, a, quite, a strappy sandal doesn't have to be too feminine, with like a leather t-shirt or a, yeah, or a, cool. a leather sweat. Absolutely, and it's absolutely. It's just perfect. I think for sure, if you're kind of hitting the street with that or, you know, going out, because I have worn my boyfriend jeans with my Converse at the weekend. I do feel a bit like a grease monkey, I have to admit, but that's an entirely different look. I think if you are going out, you've got to add that feminine, is the mashup between feminine and I think it is, I think it is. I mean, a flat sandal would work yeah. if, if you're tall enough to yeah. wear one, but, but it has to be, yeah, it has to be something feminine.